Apple just released the second developer beta for iOS 16.2 right on schedule. And as usual, this should be out for public beta testers very soon. Now, along with this update, Apple also released iPadOS 16.2 beta 2, macOS 13.1 beta 2, watchOS 9.2 beta 2, tvOS 16.2 beta 2, and HomePod OS 16.2 beta 2. Now, if you take a look at the size of this update, it was also a pretty large update for a second beta. So right under 780 megabytes on my 14 Pro Max. That size, of course, will vary depending on your device and the version you are coming from. Now, if we go ahead and check out the build number for this new update, if we go into our settings, general about 16.2, we can see the new build number here is 20C5043E. So we do still have an E at the end of the build number, which does indicate we still have a few betas to go. I would say at least three betas to go before the final release. And then if we head down a little bit further, we have our modem firmware, which is now 1.21.05. All right, so now what's new here in iOS 16.2 beta 2? And the first thing is a big one for those in India, and that is that 5G has now been enabled for India devices. So of course the iPhones that have 5G capabilities were shipped to those in India with 5G on the device, but it was disabled via software just because the infrastructure was not built out in India. But now with 16.2 beta 2, you guys in India now have access to 5G. Of course, this does depend a lot on your carrier, but you now at least have the settings and the capabilities to have 5G on your device. Also new here in beta two, if we go to our lock screen, you can see I've already added it. We have a brand new medications widget on our lock screen to remind you when you need to take your medication. So if we go ahead in here and customize our lock screen and tap on our widgets and head down, you will see that we have a new health section right here, a new health widget. Now, if we tap on that, you can see it shows medications, view reminders, and quickly access your schedule. So we have two sizes here. We have the small square and of course the rectangular square right here. So it does tell you when you need to take your medication. And if you tap on that, of course, it will take you into the health application where it shows your schedule for medications. Now, something else I noticed here in beta two is if you go to customize and you go to customize your lock screen and you tap on the three dots down here at the bottom, we have a new option for show photo in library. So in beta one, it would just say depth effect and it would be grayed out. Basically, when you tap on these three dots, it would do absolutely nothing previously on any other version of iOS 16. But now we have show photo in library. So if you don't have access to that feature, you know, where you can have the time behind the image, then you now get the option to show photo in library. So at least it makes those three dots there functional and actually useful for something. Now, there was also a very annoying bug in beta one that has been fixed here in beta two. So if we went to the camera from the lock screen, you can see in beta one, we're not able to swipe up. We're not able to go back to the lock screen at all. And this could be very bad. This happened to me multiple times on beta one, and it just happened to be in my pocket and it would not leave out of the camera application. I was not able to swipe up to go home, but now in beta two, you can see you could swipe up and you're allowed to go back to the lock screen if you accidentally invoked that, or if you took the photo you wanted and you wanna go back to the lock screen. Before, it just was not able to be done. You had to lock your device again and then unlock it, and then you were able to be back to your lock screen. Another pretty big bug that's been fixed has to do with phone calls or FaceTime calls. So before in beta one, for whatever reason, you were not able to adjust the call volume volume while you are on a call. But now in beta two, you're able to adjust the volume again while you're in that FaceTime or phone call. If we head into our settings and go to the TV settings right here and then go down, you will see we have live activities. So in beta one, this section was completely blank for some reason. So live activities for TV did work in beta one, but the settings were completely empty. But now in beta two, we actually have two different toggles here in this section. So we have allow live activities and a brand new option here that says update rate, more frequent updates. 
So it says allowing more frequent updates lets you see more real time information, but can drain your battery faster. Now, I don't know the specifics of this just yet. I will be testing this out and letting you guys know in my Apple weekly episode that I release every Saturday. So I will test this out and see, you know, what that frequency actually is because it doesn't say specifically what that is, but this is a brand new toggle here, which is nice to see. Also in our settings, general software update, you could see that the text has been reverted back to normal. So in beta one, this text was much bolder and much larger so now it's been reverted back to the normal style that we had before beta 1 and then just a very minor thing I noticed if we go into our settings for freeform we have a new acknowledgments section right here so this right here is brand new it basically just shows like the credits for the freeform application that was not there in beta 1 now one thing I do not see here in beta 2 is emergency SOS via satellite so Apple did say that this is coming in an update in November so Apple is most likely referencing iOS 16.1.1 but still usually we see features like that in the beta versions of you know the next major version like 16.2 so even though it's going to come in 16.1.1 sometimes we will get those features in a beta before that public release comes out if that makes sense but I look through my emergency SOS settings my cellular settings I don't see anything for the satellite feature on the iPhone 14 series. So I guess we're gonna have to wait until iOS 16.1.1 releases to enable that. Now, Wi-Fi issues are also very rampant in 16.1 and 16.2 beta one. So if you guys had those issues, update to beta two and let me know in the comments below if that has been fixed. Now, me personally, I've not had any issues with Wi-Fi at all. So I've connected to multiple networks, never had any issues with Wi-Fi, so I cannot attest to if this has been fixed or not. So I hope it is, but we may have to wait for 16.1.1 for that fix as well. And if we take a look at the release notes, we do have some known issues for Freeform. Of course, that is expected since that is a brand new stock application with 16.2. We have a resolved issue in the keyboard when you're typing in Chinese. We have a known issue for Stage Manager. We have a fix for the TV application. So it says play tracking won't work for all platforms. So that has been fixed and that should now work for all platforms. And then we do also have a new feature and a resolved issue for Swift UI. But as far as bugs that are still remaining, we do still have the HomeKit bug right here. When we swipe down on the control center, we have that little lag right there for our HomePods, our HomeKit devices to come onto the screen. I've also been having the issue where, of course, the focus mode causes my screen, my wallpaper on the lock screen and home screen to just turn completely black. So it mostly happens when I'm in a focus mode and then I go out of that focus mode so that's a major issue I've been having for a while and I would assume that's still here unfortunately on beta 2 now as far as the performance goes performance so far feels pretty good I mean this feels pretty much exactly the same as beta 1 so far but it's just because it's brand new I just started using this you know over in the past you know hour and a half now so can't really tell too much on the performance however we did run a Geekbench score and you can see the scores there compared to beta 1 so we do have a slightly lower single core but a much higher multi-core than the first beta. So you can see our scores there, 1877 on the single core and 5413 on the multi-core. And then as far as the battery life goes, battery so far actually feels pretty good. I think it does feel better than beta one. And pretty much every time I say that in my original what's new video, that does end up being the case. So I do think battery life is slightly improved here on beta two. So if you did have battery drain issues, beta two could potentially fix those. I didn't necessarily have bad battery on beta one, but so far it does seem to be a little bit better just basing off of the percentage loss since the start of this video. But of course it is still too early to tell for sure. So I will let you guys know how that battery life fares over the week in my Apple weekly episode coming on Saturday. And then finally, let's talk about what to expect next from Apple. So next up is most likely going to be iOS 16.2 beta 3 but it could also be 16.1.1 so let's start with 16.2 beta 3 so apple does usually like to switch to a weekly release schedule after the second beta on a 0.2 update like this but i could also see them extending this and releasing it on the week of the 21st so it's hard to say right now you know with beta 1 i did say two weeks for sure for that and that did end up coming true but for this one it's really hard to tell from now so it could be the week of the 14th or the week of the 21st definitely one of those two weeks now 16.2 the final release is coming in December so Apple did confirm this so we're basically going to have the entire month of November for beta testing and then we will see 16.2 
final released in December. So it's hard to say when in December, but I would expect it to be one of the first two weeks of the month. So the week of the 5th or the week of the 12th, we'll have to see depending on the beta cycles. And then going back to 16.1.1, we should expect that again in November. So Apple did say an update is coming out in November. They confirmed that. And that is most likely going to be 16.1.1. And that honestly could be released as early as this week, like the 9th or the 10th. So that is a possibility, but I would say a more likely possibility is the week of the 14th or even the 21st. It's really hard to say right now for a public release because Apple doesn't usually stick to an exact schedule for that. It just kind of depends on how severe the bugs are. So, you know, I think that the Wi Fi issues are pretty severe. And of course, we do want to see the emergency SOS via satellite get released because Apple did also say that's coming in November. So we're definitely getting an update this month. It's just a matter of when. And I would say the week of the 14th or the week of the 21st for that 16.1.1 update. But again, it could even come as early as later this week. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe for more iOS 16 coverage. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.